Let me know the construction on a room. You see that? Yep, even little kitty thinks it's wrong. Don't you, little kitty? Little kitty. Alright, so, just letting you know that this is the idiocy of Don, which I basically said he was going to, uh, needs to fix his room. He's not allowed in it. I would not let him back in here. So, he got his friend to basically, uh, fix this. Now, yesterday, he's going to sit there and try to convince me that he has to show me something. And how I have to understand his delusion. When I only speak what I know. And he speaks like the rest of the people around me speaks what they do not know. Okay? And I have to continuously live under the oppression of their delusions and false ideas. Now, mind you. They are, and this is not just the lighting, they are two different colors, okay? So, their excuse was that they don't make this one anymore. So, uh, so I'm like, okay, well, you could have matched it. Like, oh, it didn't have that shade anymore. So, this is their claim, all right? This was done, I don't know how many years ago. A number of years ago, when I basically... Oh, which they ruined, by the way. And I'm going to tell you what they did, okay? They basically... I said, you have to replace the whole flooring underneath. They refused to do so and decided to put, like, this patch cement on patches where it, the floor needed to be replaced. This is what these morons did. All right? Then he lied about it, okay? And walked around softly on the boards because the boards were weak underneath. So he walked there, deliberately walked around softly because I basically have nerve damage. Okay. And, and yes, it has to be replaced. You see that? That's the cat clawing away at the freaking door. Now, I just want to let you know this room was like a hoarding hole, filthy, nasty room. All right, it was disgusting, and I let this pig sit in it. Well, because he deserves it, first of all. Because, first of all, I didn't even want to be in his life, and he forced me in his life. And he got all support from, oh, a bunch of delusional idiots like police and everybody else or whatever, who basically mocks and attacks victims of domestic violence, and they think it's a joke. So, I refuse to serve this man. I just want to let you know, I'm in a kidnapped household, by the way. Okay, against my will, okay, unable to basically be independent on my own because I am crippled, by the way. Why? Because the abuse and neglect of police and, oh, well, claiming, oh, women don't have rights, right? And who are abusing women in our city and violent in New Jersey? Oh, well, because they believe, well, women don't have rights. So, um, they're claiming that, oh, the, what they're doing is abusing women and refusing our rights to report abuse. And claiming that we had to have done something to be abused. This is what police have told me. So, um, yeah, this is the delusions of police. That would have been uh, Lieutenant Lene Bowers, by the way. She's a nasty little trifling, raunchy, dirty little pedophile, uh, uh, domestic violence abuser supporter, by the way. Um, who is my abuser? So, the thing is... Is that, oh, I have to sit there and basically educate on a moron, Don Surveys, who is a misogynistic, by the way, and does not believe women should be heard, and everything that women say are wrong, and everything that men say are right. So because of this delusional thinking, he will not correct a burned out freaking moron, Lester, his friend, who actually abused and harassed me, by the way. Which I had to call the police on him. By the way, this pig basically ruined our door, by the way. And I even corrected him. I was like, no, you can't do it that way. You need to do it this way. Uh, so they're going to sit there and basically harass me for correcting them. So now we have a shitty door that was not put on right. That's been there for years. With the frame, additional framework. Where they just like slop some wood on the side. And basically, um, well, ruined the door. I should take a picture of the door I'm going to. I'm like, you cannot do that. Now, this guy is such a moron. I actually bought a light for my room, and Don told him uh, to put it up in my room. 
and connect it, right? So it's a mounting light. You know, the ones that mount to the ceiling. Now he has a level between like the ceiling and a light. I'm like, well, I'm passing the room. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, well, I have to make sure it's straight so I have to level. I said, no, it mounts to the ceiling. It's a ceiling mounted light. So, um, so he abuses me, harassed me, calling me crazy, okay, and going to sit there, oh, because I'm correcting them and giving them knowledge on basic, simple, common sense. So, mind you, back to this floor, this moron wants to sit there, come here, let me show you something, like he's going to tell me, because I told him he simply needs to cut it over and down and move it over, Right? And so this is afterwards, the next day, he says that I'm trying to explain this to him, that you cannot leave this like this. So he's sitting there trying to convince me, okay, here, let me show you something. I said, sh show me what? Show me what? I'm like, this needs to be remote moved over. You cannot leave that like that. You need to cut it to basically where it fits and meets this, this floor here. So he has nothing to tell me. So he's like, oh, well, it was pre-measured from um, one side to the other. I said, did you measure it from here or to inside of the door? He said he measured it from here. I said, good. So that measurement needs to be cut for it to fit here. Because he's telling me, convincing me, even though it was measured from this floor over to the wall, um, that, oh, he said, oh, it's not going to fit or whatever if we move it over. This is, this is what he says. All right, this room is like so freaking disgusting. Now, these floors aren't laid down. I guess they were cutting them out uh, to make it fit, which it does not fit, by the way. See, this guy continuously, we're in an argument right now again, and I go over the list that I have to deal with under the oppression of their delusions and why, well, the thing is, I live in a shithole, well, because of the fact that um, well, I'm forced to even be against, be, uh, in his life against my will, including my children, which is human trafficking, by the way. But, um, police don't care, and that's what they are. They're pedophile protectors, and they're human traffickers. But I have to sit there and do what I can to sit there and rearrange the life or whatever, or I'm going to live under the oppression of the delusions of this man. When he abuses me and does all these, de the, these delusional things, which I am basically under the oppression of his chaos, he basically calls me speaking knowledge uh, and against his chaos, chaos. Okay? I live in a slum hole, people, forced against my will. So I actually have to adapt everything to try to fix everything. And that's all I have ever done for years because I actually used to do... All the construction work myself, which I did rightly. And there's this little thing going around. Oh, you always want to be right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to do things right. Sitting there attacking me for being right. I'm abused for being right. Wow. Can you imagine if uh, you had, like, your physicians doing surgery on you and all these other things and... Um, uh, oh, yeah, the cars you build or the bridges you go over. Oh, because people have this false ideology that, oh, you don't have to do what is right. And I kept explaining to him over and over. It's like, yes, you do have to do what is right. Oh, yes, you do have to sit there and wash the dishes freaking right. Yes, you do have to rinse and wash the sponge after you're done using it. Yes, you do have to do things right. Yes, you do have to compartmentalize things Rightly, just mind you, uh, this was a hoarding room. I can, it's pointless to sit there and show the room. It's under construction. Everything is everywhere. I wish I basically took a picture of this room before. This guy sat in his own filth. Burn holes and ashes all over his freaking bed, and I had him sit there. He would sit there and basically just throw away his seat sheets and buy new ones when they would get damaged. While his bed was like nothing but a filthy freaking mess. But he's going to sit there and continuously put his delusions and force his false delusions and over my rightful thinking against his wrong. So, um, this is basically my life continuously every single day and everything. Like, this guy does not think logically. 
and it's very irrational. Oh, and then I'm called irrational because I'm crying and getting upset because I'm being abused and harassed because everybody else wants to do everything wrong and going to attack me because, oh, I'm teaching you how to do things rightly. This is continued. Okay, and I'm going to do another video also because I'm going to put this on a lot of other listful things of things that I have to endure daily. And why my life is so screwed up because I am surrounded under the oppression and dictatorship of idiots.